In the world of IoT sensing, we're often not talking about the most advanced sensing happening or the most advanced measurements taking place. Often we're talking about some simple measurements that don't need a full-blown application processor, but you still want to do a little bit of logic down at the edge and send that information back to the cloud. If you're one of those people, this is the DevKit Weekly. I'm Brandon Lewis, and you're about to be introduced to the PIC IoT WG Development Board from Microchip. So the PIC IoT WG development board for Microchip is based on a PIC 24F, which is a 16-bit microcontroller, and it's extremely low power. On top of the 16 bits of logic that you're getting, you also get 128 kilobytes of ECC flash, 16 kilobytes of RAM, and there's also a 12-bit ADC on the microcontroller itself. Now, in terms of connecting up to the cloud, the PIC IoT WG development board has an AT Wink 1510 uh, Wi-Fi controller that's 802.11bg and n. So you can connect straight up to the cloud from this little board. But in addition, what's really cool about this little development platform is it also has an AT ECC 608A, which is a crypto authentication chip that Microchip acquired uh, when they purchased Atmel. And what that means is that all of your data transmissions between the board and the cloud platform can be secured because that uh, little crypto chip on here offloads that 16-bit PIC24F microcontroller. So you don't have to do all of your cryptography and encryption stuff on that small on that small micro that's extremely low power. Um, you save space for applications and the like. But really, the piece de resistance of this board is the fact that it's also paired with Google's cloud offerings. So Google IoT Core is um, an infrastructure that you can take advantage of when you're developing on the PIC uh, IoT WG board. Um, so you're able to use the Wi-Fi, use the security, um, and connect whatever sort of board you're looking or sensing you're, you're looking to do on the PIC IoT WG development board straight up into Google's cloud infrastructure. In terms of the sensing that you can do with this, you can see here that there's a microbus socket right here, which gives you access to Microelectronica's entire ecosystem of clipboards, which are little sensor, like sensor capes, shields that you can plug in really easily. Um, there are more than 450 of them, so I'm sure whatever you're trying to prototype, you can find a sensor for that at microelectronica.com. And when you start to think about the implications of all of the technology that's crammed into this little board, you can think that uh, because you're able to have access to Google's IoT cloud infrastructure, um, because you have uh, Wi-Fi connectivity on the board, and because you have this crypto chip, you can start doing some really cool things, such as prototyping secure provisioning. So for example, this, uh, this little board or um, whatever design that came back from it could store a bunch of uh, certificates already inside of the Google IoT core infrastructure, then you ship this off into the wild. And as soon as the Wi-Fi gets turned on, uh, this crypto chip authenticates back um, with whatever certificate was stored in the cloud. And this is probably what microchip developers would come to expect, but if you're looking for software and tools, your common MPLAB uh, microchip code configurator is right there to help you get up and prototyping really, really quickly. Pretty remarkably, if you're looking to get your hand on a PIC IoT WG development board, you can find this on Microchip Direct or other electronic component distributors' websites for $29. But, of course, if you're being extra thrifty this week, uh, you can enter the raffle uh, that we do every week on the DevKit Weekly. There's a link for that in the description below. And try to win this one for free. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.